Hi Libra, welcome to your love connection reading for the end of February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Libra, this does have to be an actual um, connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together, but you do have to at least know each other in some way. So we're going to see what comes out here. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you have Libra in any of those placements, you don't have to have them uh, in all those placements, but you can have them in any Libra in any of those placements. So welcome, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. So let's see what's going on with Libra in love for the end of February. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a uh, sign element or planet at this time and I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless so if you'd like to go back and watch past readings for your sign links to your playlist are down below in the description box general and love also um social media links decks I'm using how to reach out for personal reading if you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift all that information is below and I'll also will pin some of that information to the top comment below also so let's see what's going on in with love with Libra at this time. So let's see what we get, Spirit, please, for Libra, the end of February or at this time. All right, let's see what we have for Libra. We have Leo. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Actually, you could have Leo in your chart. They could have Leo in their chart. Um, Leo in the tarot represents two cards the sun and strength. So those are really positive cards. So we'll see if those uh, play an influence in the reading. If you're not dealing with the Leo in any way, shape or form, uh, strength could be a very strong bond. And the sun is like that best, best card in the deck. It's a very, very positive card. So let's see, could re represent also a very strong bond uh, between the two of you. All right, so let's see what's going on with Libra. So the first thing we're going to do, Libra, is pull like an overall love energy, connection energy between the two of you as sort of like an opening message. And then I'll pull um, one card for you, one card for them, how you're feeling about each other and the connection, clarifying that with the tarot. And then we'll also see what the actual situation is, advice for the connection and possible outcome of the connection. And then we'll get some extra uh, cards from the angel answers at the end so let's see libra at this time for libra in love what is the connection energy at this time for libra in love spirit please thank you so much we have one card i feel like that's your card and we have change your focus so we have the five of cups energy so the five, this is change your focus, but usually the five of cups energy can be about sorrow, sadness, and loss. So we'll see how that plays into your reading, but it also says change your focus. So something needs to be changed in this connection or the focus on each other needs to be changed or more focus on one another or something like that. So let's get one. I'll put you Libra on this side. And then I'll put your person, whoever you're thinking about, on that side. And I'm going to refer as the side to you and the side to them. But if you feel like they're reversed at any time, like, well, I'm this side and that's my person on this side, please flip-flop, switch the sides as you see fit. Uh, only take what resonates and throw away the rest. If it's not your reading, if it's not fitting for you, don't try to make it fit. It may not just be your reading this time. All right, so, well, look at that. Your person has the Ace of Cups. Wow, let's see what you have. Seek. So this is Virgo energy. So you're in the uh, energy of thinking, contemplating, healing, uh, spending time alone. Maybe you're, maybe the energy here was changing your focus from one dynamic to another and seeking, like, true love or another love or something like that or a different direction in love. And your person, all of a sudden, here comes this person, a new connection, and they're ready for a whole new love here. They definitely feel uh, feelings for you. And you got nine and one, which is ten, and then one is the new beginning, and there's a new beginning right there with Love Abounds. And we just notice here, Leo is five, and Change Your Focus is five. So maybe some of you, you could have been dealing with the Leo in the past, and now you're changing your focus, 
and now you're seeking someone new and then here comes this new whole new love that abounds here with a new person for some of you so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck well look at that oh my god <laughs> the ace of pentacles so now you got two aces here wow ace of pentacles very strong um energy of, of stability uh foundation um abundant growth and abundance for the long term pentacles are usually building for long term a firm foundation of growth abundance very enriching energy wow ace of pentacles and ace of cups wow libra all right, so we're going to clarify these cards with more information here. I just want to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have tip, donated, sent a gift, thank you so much. Those who have reached out for personal reading, thank you everybody for supporting me in the channel. I truly, truly do appreciate all of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. All right, I feel like I need one more shuffle here. One more shuffle for you, Libra, and let's see. Why is, okay, Libra in this seek energy? Ten of Swords. Yeah, you could have went through an ending, some sort of ending here, painful, hurtful ending of some kind. And now you are like ready, you're ready for a change. You're ready to change your focus away from whatever ending you went through. It was hurtful. It was painful. It could have been, you could have ended, could have been an ending with a Virgo or a Leo or maybe they had both of those. They could have been um, a Leo Virgo cusp also. And we got the sun in reverse. Yeah. You had uh, very unhappy for a time here. But, you know, the sun is happy, positive, if it's in reverse or not. Just reverse its delay. It's just a pause in your happiness or a delay in your happiness. But... You know, there always is happiness to come. And that is Leo. So that is um, confirmation of that. Some of you definitely could have been, had an ending here uh, with a Leo Virgo Cusper kind of energy. It was very hurtful, painful, but you kind of saw it coming because you see she's laying upright, looking right up at the swords. So... It's not like you were stabbed in the back. You kind of knew this was coming. Like you knew this ending to this situation. Maybe it was happy at one time. But you knew now it wasn't happy. It was unfulfilling. Or you knew your happiness was coming to an end with this person. You saw it coming. But now it's like, okay, I'm ready to change my focus. I've been through the process of that sadness, that hurt, that sorrow. Maybe even mourning energy. I went through that whole process. I mean... Maybe some there was maybe there was an actual death for some of you here, and you went through that process and you processed it all. You healed from it. Could have took you upward to somewhere of five years here. Now you're finally ready. You've done your healing work, and you searched within. You said, you know what? I'm ready to change my focus away from this now, and I'm ready to move on. And then all of a sudden, here comes a new person that's totally enamored with you and ready for a new love. Wow. Okay. Seven of Swords energy, though. They got the Love of Bounds, and they got Seven of Swords. E, okay, let's get one more. Why is the Seven of Swords here under this person? Ace of Pentacles. I just feel like, <laughs> and this is a solid offer, and we got Ace of Pentacles twice now. Ace of Pentacles twice. So I think this person... I think they have been watching you for a long time and they're like, you know what? I'm just going to do whatever it takes. I see this person. I'm totally enamored with them. I see the shield there kind of like enamored, uh, you know, they had definitely have feelings. They're enamored with you. They want something stable, long-term. They want that growth and abundance with you. And I feel like they're in, in that energy of like, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get this person because I just have so many feelings for this person. Wow. They see they saw the path before you did with the path here. They see, and they were watching you. And maybe they were watching you go through this whole process here of healing over an ending or an actual death or something. They watched this whole process. They, it could have been watching you for a year go through this or more. Wow. 
and they're like, okay, when the time is right, I'm going to sneak in here and offer my pentacle, offer my heart to this person. I think they knew that um, you needed time to heal, to get over this. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at the actual situation here. Ace of Cups. Oh, my God. Ace of Cups on the Ace of Cups. So I, and now it's on your side. So now I think you feel the same way towards this person. I think they finally snuck in, made their mood and uh, move and um, approached you. And now you're like equal reciprocation here with Ace of Cups on their side, Ace of Cups on your side. Wow. Nice. The world. So yeah, it closed out a chapter here. You definitely closed out a chapter and you're ready for a whole new chapter here with the world. Starting a whole new cycle after ending this cycle. Now feeling new love and emotions. Ace of Cups is new love. Well, let's, let's see what we have here. Okay, so I needed three more and here's uh, three more. So now we got the King of Pentacles right in the middle of the spread. So this is somebody, <laughs> they have the Pentacle in hand and they have been watching you and they're like, when the time is right, I'm sneaking in here to offer my heart, offer my big ass pentacle here to this person, to this Libra. Whoops, because uh, I've been watching this person. I know what they've gone through. I knew they needed time to heal. And when the time was right, I snuck in. I offered my pentacle for a new beginning here. I'm very stable, very stable grounded energy between the two of you. Yeah, they couldn't take the burdens anymore. They had so much feelings and emotions for you that, you know, and they were watching you also lay down burdens, you know, going through that process with the two tens here of endings. But now they knew it was the right time, so they just could not hide how they were feeling anymore. All that built up passion and love and emotions. And they just couldn't do it anymore. So they had to step forward here and say, okay, I want to manifest a brand new beginning. So they knew when the right time was to sneak in with their pentacle to manifest this brand new beginning in love with you. And you're feeling the same way now. You're like, okay, I'm ready. You're facing them. I'm ready for this whole, I've changed my focus. I've healed. I mended. I got over my situation. Uh, I feel like for some of you, it was an actual death. If it was, I'm sorry. Or it was just ending of a relationship that you saw coming. You knew it was ending. And it might, may have been, may have children with this person. It was a very happy, I think, um, relationship or connection you had with the person. But um, you could have been married up to 20 years or with this person up to 20 years or more. But now, you know, you, you're ready for this new person now. Hope manifesting uh, this brand new beginning in love and something very stable and grounded for the future. King of Wands, a very fiery, passionate energy. This is advice for the connection. This is saying go after it. A lot of driving, ambition, passion, go-getter kind of energy. Go and get it. Go after it, they're saying in here. Five of Swords energy. So Five of Swords can be like giving, it either can be an energy of, you know, fighting or just walking away. But it can be a very, um, can be an egocentric kind of card, like getting ahead at all costs. Page of Swords, a very open, honest, truthful communication here. Maybe, yeah, I feel like definitely this person had been watching you for a long time, go through this whole thing. And through this whole thing, they had feelings for you this whole time. But they had to wait for the right time to sneak in with their pentacle while they were watching you. Offering, you know, they were very honest, truthful communication. They were going to get you no matter what. They're very passionate about you. Very passionate. Well, this is advice for the connection. So it's saying, you know, get after this. <laughs> you know, don't let anything get in the way of this. Go after it. You know, honesty between the two of you. Communication. Don't be in, Don't be indecisive here. You may be, you might have been indecisive for quite a while here, for a couple of months. It may have approached you. And for a couple of months, you might have been like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. 
But finally, you know, have that open, honest, truthful communication. Now, you know, go after it, drive, ambition, fire, passion, go get it kind of energy and get it. <laughs> Five of swords and you get it no matter what, go after it. All right, so let's see possible um, outcome of this connection for you, Libra. Equal give and take between the two of you. Reciprocity, equal reciprocity, balance. And now we have a lot of Earth energy here, Knight of Pentacles. So moving forward, very stable and grounded energy, you know, coming, moving forward with that offer. We got the uh, Ace, we got the King, we got the Knight. Wow. So they go from the Knight to the King. I think they have been watching you in like the Knight energy. You know, patiently waiting for the right time to move in and sneak in with their bigger, with their pentacle, their big pentacle, and wanting that equal give and take between the two of you. And here's the Wheel of Fortune, divinely guided energy. So this is something meant to be between the two of you. It's divinely guided. It's fate. It's destiny. Things going in a good direction, a better direction um, kind of energy. So I see thing, see this moving along, getting better, going in a better direction, moving forward, a lot of stability, you know, taking it slow, grounded energy, being very balanced between the two of you. Wow, nice. So let's see what's on the bottom. So, <laughs> so we got an energy here of moving forward slowly, but then we have an energy of moving forward quickly with the chariot, with drive, ambition, a balance, success, victory. So this will move along very victoriously between the two of you. Three swords. Yeah, I definitely feel like here you went through something here, but you moved on from it. With Yeah, and you walked away from it with the chariot energy, with the eight of cups energy and the chariot. You walked away from this, you know, heartbreak and sadness here, but you finally healed and mended and walked away from that victoriously kind of energy. And now we do have the hermit energy again, double confirmation over here that you, you could have could have definitely been dealing with a Virgo or a Leo or a Virgo Leo Cusper for some of you, not all of you, but again, having to go within and heal and reflect and contemplate, find your path, your way, your light, you know, kind of energy. But now you're on your way to a new 10 of cups with this new love fulfillment in every single way or this could have been the past situation you had a child with this past situation or you could move on to this new love and have a family with this new love however it resonates for you but moving forward here a lot of drive ambition and passion with one another a lot of passion kind of energy so we have leo sag aries so moving forward drive ambition a lot of passion Fulfillment in every single way, happiness and joy, happy home and family. Could have had a, a family with this past person, or you could have a family with this new person. Uh, but you definitely had to go in and heal and mend and spend some time alone after you walked away here. But you now are walking, you're walking, you walked away, but now you're walking to another Ten of Cups situation. Walked away from the heartache and pain. And from that victoriously, and I also feel moving this relationship along uh, a lot of victory and success also. So we have Cancer here also. We have Virgo again, Leo Sag Aries. And then we have Leo again. Uh, let's see. We have um, Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And then the fixed signs, I'm not sure. I know it's Leo I'm not sure of like the um, like the fixed and and then we have Virgo Taurus Capricorn over here with the um, magician. I believe that's Gemini and Virgo again. Leo Sag Aries, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It's your energy. And Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius. So those are the other signs I see. So we're going to get some extra messages here now with this deck to close this out. Libra. So this is a good reading, Libra. So I definitely feel like you had to heal and mend over something. An ending you saw coming. You saw it coming. I don't think it ended badly. 
I think it was a very good situation for a long time, but it just kind of ran its course, you know, with the world energy. And, you know, you kind of saw it coming. Whether, you know, like I said, it was an actual death or uh, an ending of a um, relationship. I don't think it ended on bad terms. But um, you definitely healed and moved on from that. Definitely spent a lot of time alone. I think upwards of maybe even up to five years. And this person somehow knew you. I feel like knew you somehow. And they watched you go through this whole process. And they had feelings for you this whole time. And they waited for the right time to sneak in and swoop in and offer their love, their pentacle. You accepted it. You're feeling the same way. A lot of stability between the two of you. They just could not take the burden anymore of their feelings. So they knew when, when, when the right time was to come forward to manifest the brand new beginning. So if this hasn't happened yet or if it's happening now, don't be too indecisive. Have that clear cut communication. And it's telling you here to go after this while to drive the ambition and passion. And don't let it get away. Fight for it. There is balance between the two of you. Moving forward slowly, steady, practical for the long term and it's fate destiny something divinely guided and moving forward victoriously with the chariot we have all this positive energy now moving forward so let's see and the sun uh well that's in reverse but they can also indicate soulmates so i mean this past person could have been a soulmate for you all right so let's get some extra messages i do ask libra if you're new um, you can check out my channel. You like what you see. You'll get five readings a month if you do subscribe. If you do hit the bell, you won't miss out. If you do, thank you. But you can check it out. You know, like, share, comment. I love to read the comments, all that great stuff. So what other messages do we have for Libra? Look for a sign. Hmm. So maybe you are asking the universe or God or something for a sign about this person. You know, can I trust this person? Is this a soulmate? You know, is this real? Is this someone meant for me? So if you were looking for a sign or this is telling you maybe to ask for a sign or something specific, like if this is my person, someone that I should be with, um, are they genuine? Can I trust them? You know, is this my person? Ask for a sign and then look for the sign or just, you know, sometimes you'll see it when you're not looking. So you could ask for a dragonfly, a butterfly, a ladybug, I don't know, a feather or anything. Yeah, a penny and uh, if you ask for it and then you find it then it's probably a sign what else what else for Libra within the next few months so this could be happening within the next few months or this has been taking place for the last uh, couple of months and I had said that here at the two of swords that maybe they approached you and for a few months, you're like, eh, I don't know. I don't know the Two of Swords energy. So that could be just confirming that for some of you. Or they may come forward and ask you, and you may hem and haw about it for a couple of months. But it's telling you it don't stop. So, so whatever this connection is, don't stop. I feel like it's destined here with the wheel. And no need to worry. If you're worried about this person... If, you know, you can trust them, if they're meant for you, or if they're genuine or anything like that. If you're stressing and worrying over this, it says not to worry. And then we have compromise. So, um, you know, maybe if they're wanting to move forward too quickly, as we do have the chariot there, and you're wanting to take a more slow practical approach as with the Knight of Pentacles energy, then maybe you just need to have that communication with the Page of Swords to have that compromise, to be on the same terms as with the Six of Pentacles and how you can move this forward being in the same energy. Because I do see a lot of good energy for you here, uh, Libra. Okay, Libra, so <laughs> I hope that resonated for you and uh, good luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.